look at this place. It's so... But how did I get back in the, in the sky? Well, we got to get it with a group. Now this is our epic raid group. The Desolator, Xari and Chris M Gaming. Ooh, will it work? Oh, I'm inside this later. <laughs> so... Oh, man. Because I don't like Enderman. So difficult to shoot with. Some targets back there. I'm trying to blow up these uh, things. Yeah. Oh, close. Getting close. Ooh, Chris did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did it. Bye bye. Killed team. it. And then it was time for some end bursting. What can possibly go wrong, right? But first, we were making a ladder and a platform to the portal to get away from the beginning area. So one by one, we were really careful. We didn't want to fall into the void. Ooh, but the portal was at a really weird spot. And there was no end city in sight at all. So, it was bridging all the way. And of course, on that one moment I take off my pumpkin to see, an enderman attacks me. The guys try to help, but we're all going down. You can't see it here, but actually my items floating into the void. But that didn't stop me from going even further into the end. Making more bridges. And trying not to fall down. Oh, look at the man. And then, finally, finally, after a very long time, we saw an end city. Now, at this point, it was basically in the middle of the night for me, so I had to call it a night and go back on my own. Cause, why not? What can go wrong? Yes, I'm gonna jump the portal on my own. We do have a server Elytra, and it should be close. Yeah, indeed, I can fly. Now, we can use this one 
to find our own elytras. And with the guys we actually agreed to have two elytras each and raid two cities each so that when we have more players or we need more elytras, not everything is raided yet. Pretty fast, when I went north, I actually found like three cities really close to each other. So I was quite lucky there. And I saw it. My first pair of wigs behind that shulker. Oh, he got me, of course he did. Trying to avoid it, but hey. And there it is, my first official wings on the server. And. Oh, oops. So, I've been killing quite a couple of shulkers. For some shulker boxes, of course. I also got some uh, some nice loot from all the chests. Let's first need this one. Thank you. Ooh, not too bad. And there I find it, my second village. In. Yes, but I actually call that a success. I got quite a lot of stuff and I didn't die again. <laughs> See? Yes, it's really nice. So it will help me out for the future. Hey there, and welcome that you're watching. I'm really glad. So please leave a like. It really does help push the video out um, into the YouTube algorithm and see if I can grow this channel. And I love flying around. Look how beautiful it is. Finally, I can see the spawn from the sky. But there's just one kind of a downfall of flying a lot. Yeah, you need some gunpowder. And right now, I don't really have a gunpowder farm. So it's time to make a creeper farm. A creeper only farm. I found a video on Full Trox's channel. The link is in the description. He is making a creeper farm. Now, I'm not gonna really one on one make it. I kind of change it a little bit. I have to admit, I don't know if, if it is for the best, but I like to make kind of a new farm designs so or try out different stuff that I haven't done before. And this is one of them. Now, you do need some golems instead of cats, that's why I chose this one. I find a couple of creeper farms that use cats, and well, it's, I don't know, it's more difficult, I guess. I just kind of like the golems. Don't worry, they're standing on a half slab, so no mob will spawn uh, in the box with them. After that, it is time to make the platform. Now you have to count, I believe, they can throw up to 16 blocks away from them if they're being kept. I hope that's correct. I mean, I have actually try the farm out uh, later on so it, it will work but I don't think I can make it wider than this I can be wrong here and this is how you place the wall down that it is an only creeper farm and not a spider farm and then from the roof um, it has to be smaller than two blocks so that's why you put the half slabs in there and of course I put the roof on there as well and an AFK spot all the way on the top at max build height because that's why I build it in the sky so I don't have all the mobs spawning under me in all the caves around us and now it is waiting just waiting and see what it does now 20 minutes later I'm just gonna check I kind of uh, make this area a little bit look nicer and uh, let's see what it did Ooh. Now, I don't think this is too bad I have to admit I actually built three layers in this farm so it's not just one layer it's actually three layers and of course you can stack it up with more layers if you need more gunpowder now i really like the glass so i can actually see through the world to see what's underneath me and i made the sugar cane around it to make all the rockets i know it's not an automatic sugar cane farm i could do it but for right now i don't have that many observers and this is just easier and for the people that don't really like flying or use the wings or don't have wings yet, there is... <laughs> well, this looks funny. 
there is actually a, a water stream so you can go up and down so the farm works um, if you want to help me out to grow this channel please do consider subscribing to me it doesn't cost anything and it definitely helps me growing and now back to spawn yes it is time that I'm actually gonna work on the spawn so this is what I had in mind I've been thinking about it quite a lot in this area and I'm gonna make a circle around it I think it's gonna be the more industrial area with a lava farm with a smeltery with smoke up in the air and some cranes and all that stuff and then I think in this area when I want to start in I'm gonna build and I'm gonna make a circle yeah I'm gonna build a mushroom <laughs> Why a mushroom and why again well I work with children and I was doing a coloring page from a mushroom and then someone asked me can you actually build it in Minecraft and I, th I said yeah I think I can do something like that so that's the challenge and it's gonna be here in this area and then this spawn is big enough to have many areas last episode I asked does someone know a name for my cat and thanks to Yudi I have a really good name it's Snicker. Thank you, Judith, for the name. <laughs> Judith is uh, my colleague from work, says so he's gonna like, no, you didn't do that. Of course I did. I had to. But now it is time to do the grindy stuff to remove all the trees so I can actually start mapping and laying out the build that I want to make. And I know, I know it ain't fun, so I'm gonna do it in a really little time lapse. I'm not going to show all the grinding stuff because I need to have a lot of blocks. And right now we're still in episode 2 so we don't have all the farms going. But I, I try to show you the idea I have in my head. Like in this uh, area with water around, green and then surrounding by all the mountains and the snow. I think it will look epic. And at some point in the water I will also make the uh, nether roof portal. But yeah, I'm just thinking for a design with that. And there it's going to be the mushroom. I was thinking, is it too big? Is it not too big? I'm going to just fly in the air. So you can actually see the scale of this thing. It's going to be a big one. It's not going to be too high. It's not going to tower over the mountains. I don't want that. I want to build some higher, smaller mushrooms around it. Even maybe um, holding up the banner for the server. It is, of course, called Xarycraft. And I thought, yeah, it can fit. It can totally fit here. I can totally see it. Maybe for you it's kind of hard, but I hope you enjoy it. I hope you see it as well. And if you have ideas, if you're like, oh, you really missed something, or why don't you do this? You can always leave a comment, and then I will read all the comments and try to answer them as well. And I just love flying. It's so much fun, and it's so beautiful to see how it is, how this spawn is. It's an awesome seat, absolutely awesome seat. And I love flying. <laughs> landing is sometimes a bit uh, tricky but yeah if you spawn into the world you're actually facing that way and you see um, the, the first building basically I want to thank you for watching please consider liking and subscribing so I can see you next week bye bye